Hello, my name is Nick Quinn. Hi, I'm Connor Woods. Hello, I'm Shane Vernier. And we're the market analyst team at howtotrade.com. Together, we'll explain everything you need to know about trading the symmetrical triangle pattern. All right, let's get started. Symmetrical triangles are price consolidation patterns and they are the most common of all of the different triangles that we have as traders that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. They're basically patterns that show us continuation of a move and they tend to occur midway. They're a midway pattern in between two halves of one particular trend, both to the upside and the downside. Uh, the uh, You do get a lot of false breaks on them, so they're not particularly easy to trade right at the coal phase, but traders certainly do use them as a gauge for when they may want to then look to maybe start to join in a trend when we do get a break in the right direction. Uh, very similar to ascending triangles and descending triangles, except there is no horizontal line. Uh, they are completely symmetrical on both sides. So let's take a quick look at exactly how we'd go about identifying it. A symmetrical triangle is a common chart pattern that we would see in trends both uh, bullish trends and also in bearish trends as well. It's supposed to show us continuation, but ironically, they aren't that easy to trade. You'll get a lot of false signals on a purely symmetrical triangle, but it is the most common out of all of the different triangle patterns that we have to use as traders. You're looking for price to consolidate after uh, a particular move. This example is obviously a bullish uh, uh, symmetrical triangle, and we'd be looking uh, for price to continue uh, to the upside. Now, they are different from uh, a pennant. Uh, a pennant would be far more elongated, so we're looking for, 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 for more a more contracted structure and a very, very firm symmetrical um, look to the way that you would draw your trend lines. Now, you, because you will get some false breaks on both sides, they're not that easy to trade. But what traders will do is that they'll use it as a confirmation tool to uh, help them look to potentially uh, get longer market if they are going to look for continuation. So they're used very much as a barometer for that. But trading on their own, they can be a little bit tricky because you will get a lot of whipsaw action on, on both sides of the, uh, of the triangle structure. But that is the correct way that we would identify it on a price chart. Okay, so let's look at how we can trade this symmetrical triangle pattern. And we can do it in a bullish or a bearish market. In this particular example, we can see the market is trending um, to the upside. So we can see this bullish example coming into play. Essentially, what we're looking for is we're looking for a descending uh, trend line and an ascending trend line. And when they meet and those lines converge, that tends to be when we get that breakout. So you can see an example here that we have this descending trend line coming down and we also have this ascending trend line as well. We can see that we have this real squeeze in the market and this uh, price consolidation period, but then we get the breakout. And us as traders can benefit, benefit from that breakout because we can look to go long or short, if we broke out to the downside, we'd go short. Um, we can look to go long with a stop loss just sitting below this wick here, so just below this ascending trend line. And you can see that this particular trade was a fantastic 5.56 risk reward trade. If, for example, the price broke down here, then we could just use exactly the same concept. We would go short at the breakout um, below uh, this, this this ascending trend, and then we'd go short of a stop loss just above the descending trend line, and exactly the same process. But you can see here a nice 5.56 risk reward trade from using those symmetrical triangle patterns. Here are the pros and cons for the symmetrical triangle pattern. First, the pros. The symmetrical triangles offer clear take profits and stop loss placements. That means we have definitive market entry and exit points. Also, it is a very effective and reliable pattern when used in combination with technical indicators such as Fibonacci levels. Lastly, symmetrical triangles are common and popular chart patterns, so you can find them easily in any market on any time frame. Now, the biggest drawback to the symmetrical triangle pattern are false breakouts. During periods of market consolidation or whipsaw trade, we often get many false signals, which can lead to capital loss for the trader. Now, let's review some of the key takeaways from the symmetrical triangle pattern. Number one, symmetrical triangles are continuation chart patterns that appear during bullish or bearish trends. They suggest that the existing trend is likely to continue. Number two, the pattern is characterized by price consolidation and two converging trend lines that connect, creating a clear, concise breakout point. 
Number three, when trading bullish and bearish symmetrical triangles, it is best to use Fibonacci levels and the measuring technique to confirm the pattern and to identify stop loss and take profit levels. Now, if you want to learn more about the symmetrical triangle pattern, be sure to check out the How to Trade Trading Academy inside our trading room. There, you'll find a longer form tutorial where we'll show you exactly how to fit symmetrical triangles into your own trading methodology. We'll then demonstrate how to take that plan and trade it against real market price action. You'll have everything you need to practice and gain valuable market experience. Then, once you're ready, feel free to join our How to Trade Funded Trader program.